Well, it is really, really windy outside. It's a stormy day. Um, but Matt and I are here working on the FZ09, working on getting the cam chain tensioner swapped out for a new one. So come along and we'll show you how we're doing this. Okay, say hi, Matt. How's it going? I'm in like the weirdest, most awkward position possible, so I probably look like an idiot. All right, so we got the, I don't know what it's called, what part it is. This thing is like crank, this is pretty sure your crank case. Got the Get the Whatever case open the so that we can time the chain before we start the repair. So we're working on that. All right, so we got the case put back together. Now we're gonna to move to the other side to continue on the repair. All right, so we're gonna work on taking this bad boy off and replacing it with the new one. And we have to take this part of the case off so we can see the guide chain so that we can make sure there's tension on it from this piece so while we take everything off and put it, everything back together with the new part. So we're gonna start on all these little bolts right there with the Allen keys. Ready, go. Pretty close. Stretched out, like reaching out really far. There we go. There's the old with part of the gasket. We are gonna want to clean that up before we put the new one on. So that's the old the OEM. self-adjusting and we're going to be swapping it out for a manual tensioner okay so I guess how this is going Matt and I just talked it over we're gonna take the manual tensioner right now we've got it uh, the plunger uh, fully up and we're going to put this inside the socket and we're going to bolt it all down with the bolts on the sides yeah, right there. And then we're going to, after we get that bolted down, we're going to adjust the plunger with the screw right here and the nut to get the tension correct and make sure the tension's adjusted the way we need and want it to. Then from there, we'll button up the machine and we'll go take the motorcycle for a test ride and see how it's performing. And then we'll make adjustments as we need to. Fine tune from there. Yeah. Yep. Well, we got the cam chain tensioner in there but there's one big problem we can't adjust the bolt by hand like the tutorial we're watching says you should be able to do so we either did something wrong or the video is not accurate who knows My bad. It's something we've done. so we can adjust the nut but we can't twist the bolt to put tension down on the guide chain to drop the plunger so we can't keep our spacer out take our spacer out yet to put the cover on until we can get that done now there is room for an allen wrench or an allen key but there's no space right here between the frame and the bolt so we got to figure out what to do next okay so we got the Queso's Chain cheese. tensioner, queso's cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so we, <laughs> we got the chain tensioner put in correctly this time. Now we're just buttoning up the case so that we can get on the motorcycle and see if we got the tension adjusted correctly. And the dogs are going crazy. Say hi, Stella. <laughs> she wants to play. All right, hey everyone. So I'm out on a ride today, just making sure that the new manual tensioner is working properly. I've uh, been out on the bike for a little while and looks like everything's good to go. I'm not hearing any abnormal noises, any chattering or whining like would be typical of if it's loose or too tight. So, so far sounds great and we'll keep seeing how